we can be proud of. Hitler's famed Africa Corps, driven into the sea. The Pentagon appreciates what I, we did here. It was touch and go for a while, General. Certainly wasn't much fun at the beginning. Agreed. I wonder about that von Richter. He's clever. I'm surprised that anyone could hold out for so long, facing those odds. Ridiculous. Just another fanatic with a uniform full of unwarranted medals. We'll be stepping on their necks all the way to Berlin. I do not like the taste of defeat. Outnumbered and lacking petrol. We did well to last so long. I see no shame in an honorable and organized retreat. We will get them next time, sir. There won't be a next time in Africa. But, sir, none of their generals can stand against you. A victory here would be a waste of men and vehicles. We need them for the real fight in Europe. But? Besides, one of them, Sheridan, almost had us at Sidi Bouzid. Fortunately, I always keep a few tricks up my sleeve. They loved you in Sicily. I know, and I'll do it again here. I hope so. The Senate is worried. Public opinion is getting quite vocal about our losses in Italy. It's the Germans and their bloody defensive lines. We break through one, and they pull back to the next. Damn, I hate this campaign. That's why I suggested your name. I thought it was time for a new approach. I'm touched by your confidence. Which is well placed. Your invasion plan is brilliant. Let's hope the Pentagon sees it that way. I'm tired of being second guessed by Washington. I'm a man of action, not a politician. Don't worry, Charles. I'll support you as far as you can go. Look, another great plan from Weatherby. I mean, he's so scared of being overshadowed by me that all he gives me is these little secondary missions. You know, ever since we landed in Sicily, all I've been is some glorified crossing guard. You really think he has it in for you? After all, he did make you a full colonel. So what? He gets the medal and the glory, and I get the blood and the mud? And no, it's obvious he's sidelining me. Don't you think the success of the mission should be your only worry? Oh, yeah, sure. So he enters Rome like an emperor, while walking on our backs. Well, is that so surprising? After all, it was his plan, and it was approved by Washington and London. And it's got to work. Look. Intelligence indicates that our bridgehead behind the Volturno line has forced the Jerrys to pull back to the Barbara line. Their Italian allies are finished. I know that, and I know that we're going to be acting as bait doing recon in the north. A calculated risk. And don't forget, Weatherby's task force will land behind them. And drop down to trap the divisions there. I don't like the smell of it. An awful lot can go wrong, and I am a great believer in Murphy's Law. The HQ is set up, sir. We can deploy field bases now. Colonel, we found a supply depot. Straight ahead. Let's take it. If we set up supply depots at existing supply dumps, we'll be self-sufficient in resources. Build a barracks and send some reconnaissance north. Engineers will take care of that.
Excellent. Round up some troops, and I'll get the coordinates to recon. We need recon units. They'll allow us to spot the enemy even when they're hiding in the woods. Unit production in progress. The zone is this forest. We need to know what's in there. A recon unit's line of sight is blocked by buildings and woods. Don't let the enemy take advantage. Colonel, recon says we have enemy infantry holding the forest. Well done, Colonel. Now, what's this? Recon says those are Italian units. It can't be, sir. Italy surrendered. Tell them that when you meet them. Sheridan, we need infantry to take care of them. Recruits are trained and operating. Well done. These platoons should be enough to eliminate them. Sheridan, you need to destroy those units before they transmit your position. Good job, Colonel. But we have to stay alert. Their support units won't just sit and watch. Sir, we have armored units closing from the east. Yes, sir. Ordering units to destination. We got them good that time, sir. Our units in the forest can ambush them. If they get to our headquarters, it's all over. Your infantry carries bazookas. They can take out enemy armor if they can get close enough. That's settled, but still, something isn't right. Let's have a chat with the prisoners. Information from the prisoners shows that we are indeed facing Italian troops. I thought the Italians were finished. Well, the regular army, yes. But these are fascist militia, armed by the Germans. And there are more coming. According to Weatherby's brilliant plan, we're facing only Germans. Yes, and the Germans are meant to be dug in behind the Barbara line. But we're getting a lot of radio traffic. This stinks. I'm getting a bad feeling. Okay, let's prepare for an Italian attack. Campbell, yes, you try to find out what they're doing. I'll let Weatherby know his wonderful plan has to be canceled right away. Sir. Kowalski, give me Weatherby's ship on the horn. Out of the question! 
Operation Deluge will proceed as planned. Hold the line where you are, whatever the cost. Is that clear? Idiocy. Sir, more Italian tanks are grouping to the north. What is this bloody mess? Colonel, we must secure Speranizzi even if it is held by the enemy. Colonel, more Italian recon units may be hiding in the forest. We'd better find them and take care of them. I advise caution here. I doubt that the village is unoccupied. Command, you have your orders. Destroy target. Unit reports heavy fire. Unit opening fire on the enemy. As I suspected, the Italians are indeed laying ambushes in the towns. Congratulations, Colonel. Sparanese is ours. Sir, enemy armor is trying to retake the town. Open fire on designated target. Move your hands, Private. Nobody. Your turn to use the village to prepare an ambush. Cities and towns are very useful for that. Receiving report. Our units are under fire. New ruse is now available. Yes, ma'am. Good. I hate having someone sneaking up behind me, especially when he carries a gun. Great stuff, Joe. They won't get this one back easily. Colonel, we can't expect any reinforcements. Weatherby has just started his landing. Radio traffic is rising. I'm afraid we're looking at an attack on our entire perimeter. Colonel, I think it's high time we tried to get some intel, either sending a spy or decrypting their communications. Look out, Colonel. They're attacking from the left flank as well. Reports confirmed. Target destroyed. Give them everything we got, sir. Receiving report. Our units are under fire. Well done, Colonel. Your defenses are holding up. Depot is low on supply. Enemy unit is 
Rotten news, Sheridan. Some panzers have invited themselves to our party. They're approaching the left flank. Rather a lot of them. We'll need to marshal all our forces to repel this attack. Joe, our spies are ready to identify nearby enemy units. They are waiting for orders. Yes, sir. Our fire's on its way. There are far more tanks than there should be. They can't all be real. Sheridan, these tanks are decoys. Wood and cloth constructs. Colonel, they are decoys. No question about that. But why are they doing that? At ease, soldier. It means they duped us. Colonel, the attack was a diversion. Why did they send us decoys? That general is full of surprises. He's playing with us. Look, they're also coming from the right. Thorough bastards. Reports confirmed. W unit destroyed. Congratulations, Sheridan. The Germans haven't been able to break through. No more supplies in this one, sir.
well done, Colonel. They're giving up.